Hello again, everybody. I'm John Riddle, and today we're going to be showing you how to use Canva and what's new for 2025 on the Canva platform. Now, Canva is a great place to go where you'll find tools and templates for creating content like graphics, promotional merchandise, you can do presentations, you can do social media content, and we're going to walk you through how to use it. To access Canva online, just create an account and log in. You can also go to download the app to install Canva on your computer for a faster performance. On the home page, you get loads of templates and samples to start from. For example, to create designs or videos for social media, make documents, and presentations or switch to print to design for printing. Pick any template matching your project size and select it carefully. Since Canva Free doesn't come with a resize feature that allows you to resize any time. For custom dimensions, you can go to Custom Size, defining width and height in pixels as needed. Once you pick a template, a blank design opens on another interface with a single page or multiple pages you can add. Use Control or Command with your mouse wheel to zoom in and out on the preview. Any Canva project is made by several elements, which can be shapes, stickers, text, and media files that build your content and appearance as we're going to see. On the left, under Design, you can pick any ready template or switch to elements to add lines, shapes, graphics, media, or more custom modifications. Under AI Image Generation, open Magic Media to generate images or videos with AI based on your given textual prompt, style, and aspect ratio. Free plans come with 50 credits you can use before obtaining more with any pro plan. This feature is also accessible from Magic Media on the left. Open text to add title headings and simple body text. You can also switch to Magic Right to generate text with the help of the AI. With text selected, Magic Right can be useful to correct mistakes or change content style. And go to Uploads to import your own files as elements within any page or covering an entire page size by dragging these to the bottom. Switch to Draw to brush sketches freehand instead. Now let's see how to manage these elements. Click on any element to select it, then right-click to copy, paste, delete, change its order of visibility, or add links. Drag the element to move it around, and use its nodes to scale and rotate it. Remember that you can undo any action with Control or Command in Z. On Text and Shapes, Double-click to type in your content, clicking outside to apply the changes. To manage the properties and the appearance of any element, just select it and use the options and buttons at the top. All of these are shared between the several projects you can build within Canva as we are going to see. When selecting shapes, you can change type, fill color, border color, and appearance. Adjust font size, font color, style, alignment, and even create lists. On the right, apply transparency to the entire element or adjust its position within the page. 
To modify images, stickers, or graphics, select them and go to Edit at the top. Under Effects, you get several filters and image effects you can apply, as well as Magic Studio collecting several AI tools to edit your image. If you want a free plan, you can enable Magic Edit to perform modifications in no time. Brush over any region or pick it with one click. Describe what you want on the image and hit Generate. If you want a pro plan, you can use BG Remover to remove the image background with one click. This is very good when combined with effects such as shadows. Switch to Magic Eraser to brush over the image and remove any wanted part in no time. With Magic Grab, Canva detects any text on the media so that you can select it and move or resize it freely, preserving the original background thanks to AI. You can also use Expand to expand the photo content. Select where to enlarge the image and then let the AI generate what it is missing. Under Adjust, you can apply several color corrections and switch to Crop to apply a different aspect ratio or drag the nodes on the image for a customized result. With Flip, you can flip horizontally or vertically using Control or Command and Z to revert your changes. When selecting videos, go to Edit on the left to adjust colors and lights and use Magic Studio to remove any background or extract the major highlights if you own a pro plan. You can also add effects, adjust audio or video playback. Use the scissors button on top to trim your video by dragging the violet edges and applying with Done. You can also auto trim it if you own a pro plan. You can also add audio content by dragging any audio file onto your project, shown at the bottom as a violet audio waveform. Preview the project to play it back, with options to adjust volume or remove it. You can also click and drag its edges to fine-tune its length. You can also select the page on the background to change its color. At the bottom, you can easily add new pages and right-click on any to manage it or even add a transition between the first page and the following. When adding videos or transitions, your project won't be static anymore and gets a proper duration shown in the top right corner. Click on Duration to switch to a timeline preview and adjust each page length using the Play button to play back the entire content. To add cool animations, head to Animate on top while selecting any element or even the entire page. Check these out. Once your project is finished, go to Share to send your work within Canva or with an online link with any specific permissions. For offline use, click on Download and select Format and Content to export including an MP4 video if your project is not static. To come back to the home page, open the menu in the top left corner and go to Home. The whiteboards are identical to the design projects just seen, but have unlimited size, ideal for taking notes, making exercises, or brainstorming. Check these out. On the home page, select Presentations to build a presentation with chosen size and built like other Canva projects. At the bottom, add more pages or slides with options to add any transition in between. You can also add, edit, or animate elements as already seen in this video. To check the result of your presentation, go to Present in the top right corner.
Select Present Full Screen to showcase your presentation with the possibility to run live effects, add a timer, or use an animated magic cursor. You could even use Canva Live to share your presentation live through a link or a QR code. Choose Presenter View to show your presentation while getting your notes and the same options for your audience as seen. Whereas, go to Present and Record to present while recording yourself. Setting Webcam and Microphone. This is available on Chrome browsers only. When ending the recording, share the resulting video online or download it for offline use. You can also get your Canva presentation slides from the top right corner. Canva can also help realizing entire website pages. Just choose any template from the left and add and edit elements as needed. The website project is made by several pages joined together vertically. Manage each page with the left buttons and adjust page properties on top. Go to Preview at the top to check your website page through a desktop or a smartphone view. When ready, go to Publish Website and set the address to use under a free Canva domain called .my.canva.site. You can also use a custom domain, such as your own one, if you own a pro plan or a new paid one. Canva is also a powerful platform for creating social media videos. Select the correct resolution and pick the right template from the left. Pages here are single storyboard videos ordered from the left to the right in a chronological order. Click on Duration to switch to the Timeline Preview. Add vacant storyboards at the bottom and create others by importing videos or images. Drag any audio content at the bottom to import it, or select any storyboard to add videos, elements, and text as needed. Storyboards and audio clips can be moved and trimmed by dragging their edges. Right-click to delete, split in time, or add a transition to the next storyboard. Preview your video with the play button in the top right corner and head to Share to share or download the result. With Canva, you can also realize any document or doc. This starts with a heading and several body paragraphs every time you hit Enter, extending the document as you type. From the left, choose any template and import elements like tables, charts, graphics, and media. Use the plus button on the document to add headings, subheadings, lists, and even checklists. On lists, you can add more lines with the Enter key and use it twice to exit. In a doc project, you can't move elements freely as these stay in line with text. You can always drag and move these to another line. Select any element or text to adjust properties on top. When selecting text, you can go to Link to add hyperlinks to any file or online site, or go to Magic Write to get help from AI. Go to Share to share the document online or download it in PDF format with the appropriate size. All your projects and uploaded files in Canva are automatically saved online. They are also listed under the Project section on the left of the home page or while working on any Canva project. Last but not least, you can also use Canva to edit photos. Go to Upload in the home page, browse for your file, and then go to Edit Image.
Apply effects, adjustments, or crop the photo as you need. Once done, use it in a new design project to add further elements or simply download it. Hey, we hope you enjoyed today's video and we hope you learned something new about Canva. And remember, for lots more tutorials and learning resources, be sure to visit our YouTube channel or our website.